sense of pride now approaching the station. The job is nearly complete. Yeah, I think once you, you've been down and you've obviously you've been to A to B, whatever it happens to be in Glasgow. I have been obviously to Glasgow a few times. A fantastic city again to arrive into when you've left London or you've picked the train up at some point in the route. Your, your, your final destination, not just for you as, as you, you know, as a train crew and you can imagine them all back there, you know, your catering and your train manager getting everyone ready now to leave the train. And I think they're all sitting there now because they've got on three hours ago, two hours ago, whatever it might be. And, you know, there's a, there's a fair bit of excitement back there behind you. And like you say, you know, we're still locked into the job, but it's a great sense of, of achievement. Like you say, when you get to your, wherever it is you've been and you're a little bit early or you're exactly where you should be at the exact moment you want to be. And I think that's the bit of the job that keeps you coming to work every single day because only your, your, you know, how good you are at your job, how professional you are at doing whatever it is you do, that, that's the bit that gets everyone else in the train that's sitting there behind you, no matter if there's two on board or 522, 1,022. Um, the, the sense of achievement you have at the end of every shift is... Uh, stopping when you get to wherever it is and your body relaxes and you see the people just walking past you and they're off doing whatever it is you've just been doing. They might be going to work. They might be going out. They might be meeting somebody else. But they're all doing the same thing as you. They're getting from one point to another and, and you've delivered them there just as, you know, in an, in an amazing way. And, and we've, you know, A to B, we've seen all those amazing things we've talked about uh, and it's a great achievement. And to get to wherever it is, is always great. But, you know, the next day is going to bring the same thing again. And that's the thing that gets you up. You know, you really want to go to these places. You want to do this thing. And you want to feel this sense of achievement. And, and watch these people walk out past you and, and join your train when you start your journey. Uh, and that's the part of the job that always appeals to you, really because you challenge yourself every single day. You know, there's a different thing put in, in front of you every day and how you surmount that, how you surpass yourself and how you achieve the end goal is the thing that always gets you up. It's that simple. And that is why it's a great job to do. That is why it's great to be a train driver and everyone else will tell you the same thing. It's a good thing to do. You get to see everything, you get the achievement, and, and it, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Every day is different. This is it, the final destination, Glasgow Central. I'll be thinking my return journey in a couple of hours now, where I could have walked to in the, in the city centre or maybe walk down the Clyde to the old dockyards or the Victorian glass house. There's so many places you can explore when you arrive at uh, your destination, although you have to work back to Preston, say, for example. Um, this... Again, the sense of achievement, the sense of pride to actually deliver what could be 500 people on a pendolino. And the final run down the platform now. Great station, great city. Absolutely love it. I think when you arrive somewhere, you always look at the other trains and think, you know, I always think, I wonder if they you know, feel the same way as I do when I arrive somewhere that I've done the, the best I can or whatever. I wonder if they do it as good as us, you know. And that always goes through my head when, when I see all the other tocks there and people waiting for their trains. They always look across at our trains, you know, and I don't know, it's kind of elitism with us, I suppose, because it's a great job to do, you know. And it, we do it every day, every day. <laughs>